2012, we made a short film about Kati, a young woman from Estonia who came into our lives by chance and introduced us to the country. During our first trip to Estonia, we were surprised how every castle, manor, and museum had a piano. No locks, no ropes, just beautiful pianos that we were encouraged to play. Mike, a composer, was like a kid in a candy store and played at every chance. It started with this place, a seaside museum with rickety boats and a collection of wondrous curiosities. This is where the song Killarney Waltz came to be, a simple melody that seemed fitting for the sea. Maybe it was the sun setting over the Baltic Sea, or how light strobed through the pines along the sides of the road, or the sound of the pianos echoing through the manors, but we returned home full of inspiration. I began working on new songs, eager to capture the feeling of Estonia in music. One year later, we would return to the place where it all began. This is our road trip story about a song, a country, and a beautiful grand piano. The thing about road trips is that they require a bit of help. So we brought in the best. <laughs> Reiner, translator, production coordinator, Estonian roommate number two, and friend. Katie, photographer extraordinaire, night owl, Torontonian, and friend. Packed with a camera, a song, and a new pair of shoes, we hit the road and scoured the Estonian countryside with one mission find a piano, and play it. Rumor has it there are over 1,000 manors in Estonia, 50 castles, and 250 museums. Ambitious? Yes. What did we do? We picked 10. Places like Vadastim Manor, Lona Manor, and of course, Kasmu. Walking into each room was like discovering a treasure every single time. We never knew what to expect. And other times, it was just tough to leave. Take this place, Kadriog Art Museum. Mike played Killarney Waltz on a snow-white piano, and the sound was perfect. Or this place, where the seats commanded an attention that was both eerie and beautiful at the same time. We even had a chance to visit Kati's old elementary school in Urmani. As we made our way across the country, we began to notice that each piano had one thing in common. Well, except this one. They all carried the same name, Estonia Piano. Eager to find their maker, we made a U-turn and headed back to Tallinn. All signs pointed to this man, Indrik Lal, owner and president of Estonia Piano, concert pianist, and gracious host. And on a rainy Tuesday afternoon, he showed us Estonia's unique connection to the grand piano. Just like Estonian language, itself has this singing quality to it. The singing quality that translates into the song festivals we have, that also translates into the Estonia piano sound we have here. The singing quality, the long sustain of the note, the sound should hug you, embrace you, be with you, grow with you. The landscapes of Scandinavian countries in Northern Europe, it is all tied into it. That day, against the backdrop of master craftsmen and shiny new pianos, we learned about Indrik's journey. And in turn, he made us think about ours. You see, our connection to Estonia is kind of peculiar. It's been rooted in chance encounters and mysterious clues, tempting us with the promise of uncovering all of its secrets. We've learned that all we can do is just listen and follow those clues without ever really knowing where it will lead us. So on one of our last days in Estonia, we did just that. We listened. After a thousand kilometers, 10 pianos played, and many new friends met. We chased the sun and were once again led right back to the sea. And there it was, that same feeling that inspired us one year ago, and the reason why the song Killarney Waltz was written. Possibility, discovery, the feeling that there is something new under the sun every single day. And strangely enough, that's not the secret. 
All we know is that we were only given just a glimpse, and perhaps a perfect glimpse is enough. You know, you can say the same thing about a song, a piano, and a way of living. In the words of the great Estonian composer Arvo Part, it is enough to play just one note beautifully. Thank you.